Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Now you can pick this one up from samsung.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one ranges from 400 to 480 bucks, depending on which version you get. Now it comes in two different sizes. You got 41 millimeters or 45 millimeters. Now if you get 41 millimeter, it comes in two colors. You got Mystic Bronze and Mystic Silver. If you get 45 millimeters, it comes in Mystic Silver and Mystic Black. Now you have your choice between stainless steel or titanium and Bluetooth or LTE. Now for this particular version, we got the 45 millimeter stainless steel, Mystic Silver, Bluetooth only. So this one ran 430 bucks. All right, so let's go through all of the features. Now for the processor, you got the Exynos 9110, that's dual core clocked in at 1.15 gigahertz. What does that mean in English? It's a watch, bro. Calm down. For the display, you got a 1.4 inch AMOLED panel with Gorilla Glass DX. Now it's IP68 dust and water resistant and MIL STD 810G drop test approved. Now you got one gig of RAM, eight gigs of storage. It's running Tizen OS 5.5. For the battery, you got a 340 milliamp battery that features wireless charge. Now Samsung claims you're gonna get two days worth of battery. Now you also got Bluetooth 5.0, you got NFC, GPS, you got a heart rate monitor, a sleep tracker, a pulse oximeter, fall detection, and ECG capabilities. All right, so all of that for 430 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I white love shoes. My white shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Okay, nice clean white box. I know I like that, giggity. Here we go. Little unboxing knife. Rah. One more. Rah. Okay, Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Here we go. Okay, nice presentation alert. Let's see what you get in the top. Okay, now this should be, like I said, this is the uh, Bluetooth only version. Okay, so you got your usual books and shit. Plug them and follow them. This is gonna be your wireless charging pad. Okay, hold up. All right, wireless charging pad, USB-A. All right, shoes, inspect that for quality. And this is your Galaxy Watch 3. Okay, did we miss anything on the box? Like I said, Bluetooth only. It is what it is. All right, so this is the uh, 45 millimeter version. Nice leather strap on this one. And of course, that iconic Rotating bezel. Let's get a little wipe down on this one. All right, shoes, I need you to scoot, scoot. Check this one out. All right, here we go. Now, you got two buttons on the side. This should be your back button and your home button. Okay, power or home. We'll figure it out in a second. On the back, this is going to be all your sensors. Premium, genuine leather. Okay, I like that. Shoes is in rare form. Let's see. Um, now, in order to change these watch bands, you see that little... That little lever right there, you're just gonna pull that, take those off, so this way, yes, you can change the watch bands. Let's see if we got any juice on this one. I believe the bottom button is home, uh, actually power, there it is. All right, Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. All right, so real quick, let me pause the video, I'll set everything up, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. Now, before I set this up, let's do a little size comparison with some of the other Samsung watches, so just in case you're getting ready to upgrade, this is what it's gonna look like. So here's your Galaxy Watch 3. Now say you haven't bought a watch in years and you still have the original Samsung watch, this is what it's gonna look like. Now on a side note, I don't remember the names of these watches, so bear with me. But this was the OG with the camera and the watch band. I love this one. So if you upgrade in, you're gonna get a way more modern looking watch with that rotating bezel, but you're gonna lose that camera. Then after that, we have the second watch, I right, still got the square face, still got a camera. Again, you're gonna get a way more modern looking watch, but you're gonna lose that camera. Now I love this watch too. Now, for my all time favorite Samsung watch, the original Gear S. Y'all remember this one with the curved display? This is what it's gonna look like. Now you're getting a way smaller watch. You get, you're getting rid of that futuristic curved design. You're gonna miss that. But your watch is gonna run way faster, way smoother and it's way more modern with that rotating bezel. 
but this is still one of my favorite watches. Y'all see me wear this time to time in some of my videos. I love it. Next up, now we're getting into the rotating bezels. Okay, now I forgot which one this is. I believe this is the uh, Gear S3. They pretty much look similar with the two buttons on the side and the rotating bezels. Then after that, we had the Gear Sport version. Okay, a little bit smaller, still got that rotating bezel. Both of these look way modern. And of course, the one that I've been using recently, the Galaxy Watch. Now, both of these look identical, same rotating bezel, same two buttons. Let's keep it moving. All right, y'all, so we back in. First up, charging the watch. Now, there's three different ways you can do that. Number one, you can use the wireless charging pad that came with it, plug it in, drop your watch right on the top, and you're good to go. Next, you can use a wireless charging pad. So if you've got a wireless charging power bank or a regular wireless charging pad, drop your watch right on. There it is. And the third way, which is the most boss way, is if you got a phone that has reverse wireless charging, you're gonna turn on power share. Okay? Drop your watch right on the back. Wait for it to connect. I just gotta find the sweet spot. There it is. All right, so three different ways to charge the watch. Next, now this is how it's gonna look when you're wearing the watch. Now this is the 45 millimeter size. I got big arms and big hands, so it fits me perfectly. Nice leather band, got the two buttons, rotating bezel on deck. Now just for comparison, here's the Galaxy Watch. This one is more my style, looks a little bit more military, the buttons are flush on the sides. I like this rubberized band a little bit better. And the uh, rotating bezel looks a little bit more rugged. And yes, this is the Knight Rider theme uh, watch face. But for the Watch 3, this one looks a little bit more elegant. Now you got those two pronounced buttons. All right, the rotating bezel is a little bit more toned down. And you got that beautiful leather band. All right, so now let's take a look at the wearable app. Now, once you set everything up, you have full access to all of the settings and everything that you do from the phone, you can do directly from the watch. So it shows you your watch face, you got your battery percentage and your approximate battery life. Now this one says one day, seven hours and 53 minutes. If you click on that, got your model number, your serial number, you can adjust your battery settings. So you got standard or power saving mode and it shows you what apps are killing your battery. Same thing with storage, same thing with memory. Take it over to notifications. Fellas, this is your thought protection. You can have it show notifications only when wearing the watch. All right, so if you wanna go into thought protection, turn this on. You only get notifications when you got your watch on. When you take the watch off, you won't get any notifications. You can also set which apps you get notifications from. Let's go over to apps. Now you can have rotary view or list view. Keep it moving. All your different widgets. All right, I'll show you how those look on the watch in a second. Let's go to sound and vibrations. Okay, now here's all your different ringtones. Now these are playing directly from the watch. You hear how loud that is? Classic. Now on a side note, this is what separates this watch from an Apple watch. Apple watches can't change the ringtones. I hate that. The digital beep, droplet. Okay, glassy tone. I'll leave it on stairway. All right, that's your different ringtones. Now you got notification sounds. Again, Apple watches, you can't change the notification sounds. Everybody's Apple watch sounds the same. Now with your Galaxy Watch 3, you got different choices. So you got beep, chirp, flicker, handbell, knock, knock, sky. I like soft chimes, okay. Ticking clock and wine cork. We're leaving on soft chimes. Okay, volume. Now listen to how loud this is. Okay, let's go to maximum volume. This is how loud your watch is gonna be. That's pretty sick. Look. 
You hear how loud that is? Excellent speakers on this watch. Let's keep it moving. I got your ringtone vibrations. Now these are different patterns. I don't know if y'all can, you can't hear it, but that's a long, you get the idea. Different, ring, uh, different, different vibrations. You can change the intensity. We'll leave it on strong. Plenty of different settings. Let's go to display. Okay, now this is max brightness. I'll show you what it looks like on the watch actually. Let's just set everything up so this way we don't have to do that twice. You got different background styles. Okay, similar to always on display. Screen timeout, leave that on five minutes, why not? Show charging information, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to advance. All right, now look, you can customize these buttons. So double, double press on the home key for recent apps. If you want to, you can have all of these different settings. Now I'll leave it on recent apps, why not? Press and hold for Bixby and power off. Let's go back to this side. You got uh, wake up gestures. You got touch to wake up, bezel wake up, water lock if you're going swimming, touch sensitivity if you want to wear gloves. You got do not disturb. You got good night mode. Theater mode is if you go to the movie theaters, activate theater mode. It won't interrupt your, uh, your theater activities. Activities, I know. <laughs> you got edit your quick panel. I right, so you can edit these up, change these up to, to your liking, and you got SOS. Let's see, uh, add content to your watch. Okay, so you can add music, auto sync, copy images. Let's see, you got SOS. All right, this is for your fall detection. All right, so we'll leave fall detection on. <laughs> right. Now that actually saved me. Matter of fact, I'll set that up later. When I do the full review, I'll show you how all this stuff works. Send SOS. All right, just in case you're getting ready to get jacked, I'll show you a quick way to send the SOS. Somebody know where you at? Find my watch. Now this is one of my favorite features. Click on find my watch. And you get a notification. Now you can use this in reverse. From your watch, you can do find my phone. All right, that's pretty dope. Let's see, you got general. Let's see, uh, blah, blah, blah. Keyboard settings, default keyboard. I will leave that alone. Let's see anything. I'm trying to make this quick. Blah, 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 blah. Anything else? No, that's pretty much it. All right. Now let me throw the watch on. All right. So now let me show you what some of that stuff looks like from the watch. If you swipe down, these will be your quick toggles. All right. So that's your good night mode. Do not disturb. Scroll over once. You got theater mode. Your water lock. You can change your brightness. Like I said, all of the settings directly from the watch. Okay, you got airplane mode, you got a flash night. Now let's try find my phone. All right, just in case you can't find your phone somewhere, let's click start. Find my phone. I love that feature. All right. Shout out to the old school NES ringtones. Now, if you scroll over to the left with the rotating bezel, this will be all your notifications. So I got a text message. Somebody left me a YouTube comment. My Nest camera heard somebody talking. Got another YouTube comment. Google weather, Instagram. Check this out. You can actually see the picture and read the comment. All right, that's pretty sick. And if I click show on phone, it'll open up right to my phone. More Instagram and wireless power share. Now, if I scroll over to the right, get your daily activities. I right, start your workouts. Got all your different apps. You can customize this if you want, but you got your shopping, Contacts, calendar. Here's all your sports activities. So you got running, swimming, more. A thousand different exercises. This is the weather. All right, this is our recent activities. Now, this is gonna be my, me my media player. So if I wanna play some music, I hit play. Whatever music is playing on my phone, it'll start playing from this. And I can also change the volume, raise or lower, uh, raise or lower the volume, <laughs> or, or skip and reverse tracks. Where was we? All right, so that's unknown. This is a sleep tracker, okay? And we can add widgets. So we got alarm, app shortcuts, we got calendar, contacts, reminder, Samsung Health, bunch of different Samsung Healths on deck. <laughs> Enough Samsung Healths. We got weather, and you got the world clock. All right, so let's add a calendar. Matter of fact, let's add the um, blood pressure, heart rate, okay? Now, matter of fact, let me try that out. Okay, <laughs> 98 beats per minute. I'm a complete fat ass. Okay, now here's how the music player looks. You see I got music playing on my phone. You got the same album artwork appears on the watch. Let's hit play. 
I can play the music if I want to. I can skip to the next song. Okay, we can hit pause. And I can also raise or lower the volume. I love having the music controls. All right, now this is what it's gonna look like when you're getting a phone call. Okay. Now if I want to, I can answer or I can end the phone call. I can swipe up. I can drop a text. I'm on my way. Okay. And let me show you what the, how it's gonna pop up for the person that's receiving it. Let me pull up my other phone. You see, I just got the message. I'm on my way. This is pretty dope. Now on a side note, this is my trap phone number. Please don't bother calling me or texting me. This is my phone number that I use only to make videos, all right? So I'm not answering any texts. I'm not answering any phone calls. This is a trap number, all right? I just wanna make that clear. All right, so let's do that one more time. I right, do that one more time. Let's try another phone call. Okay, here we go. Now, what's dope about this, you seen the actual contact came in? Here we go, it's ringing again. See, it's ringing on the phone. Okay, and it's ringing on the watch. How dope is that? Now I can answer. Yo. Hello? Hello? No, watch this, watch this. Hello? Hello? Testing one, two, three. three. Y'all hear the voice coming through the watch? Now, if I want to, <laughs> I can switch from the phone to the watch. I hit switch. Now I'm on the phone. This is pretty dope, all right? So this is one of the best features. Hold up, <laughs> let me exit out of this. This is one of the best features about using a smartwatch. Even if you don't care about S Health and you don't care about nothing else, one of the best things that you're gonna like is being able to answer your phone and talk right there. All right, look, I just got a message. All right, my Nest Cam heard somebody talking. Cool. Now, let me show you what it looks like when you get a text message. All right, we'll try that same thing. Let's do our text message. We'll do, how are you? Okay, here we go. How are you? Okay, so I just sent myself a text message. Wait for it to pop up. Okay, there it is. How are you? Now from here, I can do voice text. I can do emojis. Or I can do handwritten. Now let's do a voice text. There we go. That's my first time I've got to set this up. Call me back later. Okay, we hit send. Okay, we send as a text. Message sent. And here it is, call me back later. Just popped up. <sighs> this is so dope. Now when I do the full review, I'll test out more of the features, but I just wanted to give y'all a quick rundown on how some of the basic stuff works. And for a lot of y'all, this is what y'all gonna be doing. All right, y'all gonna be sending text messages, answering and then phone calls, and I'm getting notifications. Basically, that's what I do the most. I just get notifications, I answer and end phone calls. I right, check this out. Got an Instagram. Now watch this. All right, so somebody just posted on Instagram. Let me open up my phone. I wanna show y'all something real quick. All right, so check this out. Now show on phone. And look at it. Took me right to Instagram. Now it didn't take me to that post, which is kind of weird. Let's exit out of that. Let's try that again. Let's see if I got another Instagram. All right, so I got an Instagram message. Show on phone. Let's see if it takes me right to that message. All right, there it is. Now I don't want to put that guy's message on blast, but it took me right to that message. All right, so that's pretty dope. Let's see anything else. All right, that's pretty much it. Like I said, most of y'all are gonna use this for answering and ending phone calls, sending text messages, and just goofing around. <laughs> just basically goofing around. Now, if you want to, you can change your different watch faces. We'll leave it on that one. And when I change that watch face, if I hit, matter of fact, let me see if I can do that again. If I hit customize, I can change different features of that. All right, okay, come on. All right, there it goes. <laughs> you can change the different colors. See purple, blue, red. Oh, I could leave it multicolor. I like that one. Hit OK. Bong, just like that. And you see this one for yourself. You got a bunch of different cool watch faces. This is the um, <laughs> Night Rider joint. I think I'm going to add that to this one.
But overall, if you got a Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy Watch 3 is going to feel exactly the same. It's a go. Let's wrap this up. All right, so a couple of more things I wanted to mention. Always on display. Now, if I flick the wrist, that's how my display is going to look. If I cover it up, that's always on display. Now, if you turn off always on display, it'll be completely black. If you leave on always on display, you'll still be able to see the time. And when you want to go full brightness, just flick the wrist and it'll pop back up. And lastly, quick contacts. Now, say you're driving around and you want to send somebody a message or make a quick phone call. I have a quick contact set to myself, of course. If I want to, let's do a quick text message. I'll do, matter of fact, let's do, um, let's do a smiley face. Do a regular smiley face and hit send. Let me show you what it's going to look like when you get that message. Okay, just popped up. There's the smiley face. And the same thing. Now, if I'm driving around, this is my hand on the steering wheel. And I want to make a quick phone call. All I got to do is cycle through, find a quick contact, and hit dial. Phone will start ringing. I don't got to take my, my hand off the steering wheel, and I can have a full conversation. This is pretty sick, yeah? All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 is a major, major, major go. I love this watch. Now, I know somebody's going to ask, which one do I like better, the Galaxy Watch or the Apple Watch? And for me, it's a no-brainer. The Galaxy Watch is way more customizable, has way more features, and of course, the rotating bezel just blows the Apple Watch out of the water. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the Apple Watch. It's pretty dope but I like the Galaxy Watch way better. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas. Ladies. Say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes, pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spark on the beam up. Energize.